I mean, if it, it seems like y'all not valuing MVPs. <coughs> How are we not value MVPs? Peace and blessings, y'all. Welcome to Goat James Kingdom. On this episode, we will break down the criteria used for our top 50 greatest players of all time. As me, Stephen Curry got 3.3 points for his two MVPs. So how many points do you get for our NBA? Uh, well, it depends on how much you get compared to that. He only has nine. No, I'm NBA saying, so how much that? is one our NBA and we all points? No, nah, I understand what bro's saying. He's saying that everything can't be the same point total. In other words, how many points you get for being MVP? One MVP, divide one into into six. I think it's one point seven. Hey, how much? How much is our NBA? Uh, all NBA. I mean, got, one all NBA, to, I believe, is by nineteen point five. Now, what SB is asking is a valid point because he cannot understand why Stephen Curry scored so low to be 27th on our list. So he asked, how many points do you get for getting an MVP? So one MVP divided by six MVPs, which is the greatest accomplishment of all time, is 1.7 points. And if you get one all NBA compared to 19, which is the greatest accomplishments in all NBA selections, you get 0.5 points. So obviously there is a different point system for each individual accolade. The valuing of these are only valued by the greatest accomplishment of all time. So that's why everything is compared to the same value, but it, everything has a different set of numbers depending on the accomplishment. Y'all not listening. Y'all not paying attention. This is what I'm telling you. The most MVPs in league history is six. So Stephen Curry's two MVPs is compared to the six MVPs that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has. That His nine all the all NBA selections is compared to LeBron James nineteen all NBA that selections. That makes no sense. If you're doing something on a point scale, you gotta give everything a value of their own point. <laughs> I find that odd that SB stated this because if we go back to when I did my top 25 greatest players of all time, this is the criteria that I set up to grade the players at that time. And if you look to the right, you can see with the accolades, I graded each individual accolade with its own set of numbers. But when I did this, I also got a lot of flack because people were telling me that I was being subjective, which is correct because I am valuing certain accolades over other accolades based on my personal preference or my bias. So again, we corrected that with the time top 50 list and we stated this before because we had people come up to us and tell us stuff about this particular way of using the accolades so instead of grading every accolade by a subjective value we graded every accolade by the greatest accomplishments of all time so if we look at stefan curry's career and all of his accomplishments he may score high in certain categories but he doesn't score high overall because he is not number one in any statistical category in any accolade or in any advanced stats so players who actually have these numbers over him will score higher than him but sb is not done he has more he was sent to us to make sure that we stay consistent Let's let him continue. And also, if you're going to count all NBAs, you got to count from first, second, and third team and get at a different point skip. We are glad that SB brought this up. So let's go ahead and touch on this point on grading everybody by the actual selection of team that they made as far as first team, second team, or third team for all NBA or the first and second team for the all defensive team. So what SB is asking is why do we not value all defensive first team and all NBA first team over the other team selections? Which if we go ahead and do that right here, we can see why we didn't do that. So let's start off with LeBron James. LeBron James is number one in all NBA first team. So he will get 10 points for that if we add his second team and his third team selections he would get 3.6 for second team and six points for third team and if we do the same thing for the all defensive selections for lebron james he would get a 5.6 for his first team selections and a 1.4 for his second team selections which would give him a total score in his all nba selections at 19.6 and his all defensive selections at seven but now let's do michael jordan and you can see why this way would not be the accurate way or the most objective way to score the all nba and all defensive selections Selections. Michael Jordan will receive 7.7 .7 points for his first team all NBA selections. He will get 1.3 points for his second team all NBA selections. He will get zero points for not having any third team selections. So anybody who has a third team selections will end up scoring more points than Michael Jordan. And the same conflict applies to the all defensive selections because Michael Jordan does not have a second team selection in all defense. He will get less points and get a zero for that than someone who has, which would basically avoid the point of valuing the first team over the other teams. But let's move on to the second line here which is the red marker and you can see how we adjusted it by giving it an average score so we would take all three scores for all nba and lebron james would have a six 
0.53 because we're going to divide that by three. And we would do the same thing for the all defensive team, which would make LeBron James score a 3.5 because we are dividing it by two. And we do that for Michael Jordan. You can see he would get three points for all NBA and five points for his all defensive selections. But as you can see, scoring it this way would give players lower scores for their actual all NBA and all defensive selections. If you look at how we actually scored them, LeBron James and Jordan actually had a higher score for their selections. And the point difference between the red line and the green line between Michael Jordan and LeBron James is basically two points. So obviously our way is still objective and it's not giving anyone any kind of advantage over the other one, whether you're a first team, second team or a third team. So if I could just see if it's clear, because it's saying like y'all, you do have it differentiated. In other words, MVP, all NBA, uh, assist titles, those are pointed differently. The higher points you get is it because you're closer to the most. So if you have five MVPs and the most is six, you'll get more points than someone who has two MVPs. So, so yeah, bro just don't understand that the points are different. He he just wanted playing it simple, like one point is for Because if you, you divide it off something that's with, with, a higher, with a higher number at the end instead of going off the grade, instead of just giving something to individual point scale, that will make it that will make it make more sense. So MVPs is one point, then you give it the point of that instead of just saying like, yeah, it, it could be one point unless this person has more or less of this, and it might get more or less. But that's dumb. Listen, I got this, Mark. You know why it makes more sense, USB? Because you want it to be more subjective. Now you want to say what has more value than what. We didn't give nothing more value than everything. Everything has the same value. It is all compared to whether the greatest yeah. accomplishment of that time or that particular category. So if six is the most MVPs, that is the greatest accomplishment in MVPs. If you have two, we compare your two to six. Not with, That's your number. And this is what makes our criteria so great and completely objective and the most comprehensive and extensive criteria out in the basketball world. It's because players are being graded by the greatest accomplishments of all time. We gave Carmelo Anthony as an example to how this criteria would work. If you look at the right, you can see how he scores. Certain players will score high in certain categories, but they can also score low in other categories. But your overall score will be determined by the greatest accomplishments of all time. So the closer you are to that, the higher you score. That's how this system works. Well, they want your list to be what this list is. What, what list is that? Different weight. You know how you have different weight to certain things? That's how... Oh, that's yeah, no, no, yeah, they want, yeah, like and, and that's what I was going to come to, because I that's something that I understand about being a basketball fan myself, is that basketball fans really want their personal opinion to be included in the conversation. He ain't lying. That's right. Hell, I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. <laughs>